Welcome to my 31 days of summer barbecue. Day four, kids ice pops. Now we have tons of barbecue recipes coming out over the next month. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss a trick and you catch every single one. Let's get it. So generally at family gatherings, especially here in Britain, they're always the kids to think about. And for the kids today, we're making these absolutely stunning fresh fruit lollies. It might seem simple, but the fruit at this time of year, paired with a little bit of honey, frozen in a stunning fresh pop, is the healthiest, freshest way to get fruit into your kids this summer. They look great, they taste amazing, let's get on it. We're gonna do three flavors today, orange and strawberry, Delicious, great pairing. We got honeydew and kiwi, nice and green. And then for our berry blast, it's gonna be raspberries, blackberries and blueberries. So just stick those straight into a blender. Those stunning fresh raspberries in, get the best ones you can afford. Organic is obviously better. And this time of year, all the berries are singing. Blackberries straight in, finally your blueberries. Now just to make sure it's sweet enough, we're gonna put some beautiful natural honey straight over the top. To balance the acidity, we've got a lime. Just cut that in half and get a good squeeze in there. And then a little bit of coconut water, just to make sure there's enough moisture to get that fruit blended and so it freezes properly. So you're gonna stick this onto your machine, high power for about 20 to 30 seconds. If you've got a lower power blender. I'm using a Vitamix here today, which is absolutely banging for this. A real high powered blender. If you've got a low powered one, don't put coconut water in there. Get coconut water and freeze it because the longer you blend something, the warmer things are gonna get. So put ice in there instead of the coconut water to keep it cool throughout the blending process. But if you've got a Vitamix, life is all right. Just got some popsicle molds, some lolly molds. Any ones you've got hanging around, or well, these were pretty cheap, these are good. Pink for pink, get your berry blast, super fresh and fragrant smoothie straight in there. Then we just add our lids and that'll go straight in the freezer overnight to freeze. We've given our blender jug a quick rinse out, that goes straight back on. Now, probably my favorite, we're gonna go strawberry and orange. Strawberries, banging season, beautiful, fresh and punchy. Take the green bit off, you can pick it off or cut it off. And those strawberries just go straight into the blender. Oranges, juice in oranges, blood oranges, nectarines, any oranges you can get hold of. Very simply, down the middle, get rid of any exposed pips and then get squeezed straight in. No need for the coconut water this time. We're just gonna go in with our hit of honey and our good squeeze of lime. Then as before, lid on and we blend. As soon as that's done, get it poured straight in. There's no need to strain it. Get that poured straight into your mold. Lids on with an eye in the freezer. And last but not least, the green one, kiwi and melon. Now our kiwis, in the top of the kiwi, on the inside of the fruit, there's a little spike, and that spike is rock hard. So when you chop the top of your kiwis off, give yourself a little bit of leeway, just so you don't leave that spike inside the fruit. Top and bottom, and then with one of these, an absolute kitchen must, a speed peeler, you peel away that furry exterior from top to bottom. Just take those in half, and then we move on to our honeydew. Now I love melon. Any melon you want to use in replacement of this would be fine. Watermelon, cantaloupe, gala, whatever you can get hold of. When I cut my melons in half, I like to scrape the seeds out straight away. A lot of the melon's flavor is held in the pith of the seeds, in that sort of membrane that holds it all together. So if you're blending your melon up and you're not too worried about the look of it, keep as much of that in as you can. Then very simply, we slice. To take the skin off of my melons, I like to take them into these little crescents. And the reason for that is, when I put my knife parallel to the board and take the skin off, I can get as close to the skin as possible. Now at this stage, you wanna cut through, kiwi goes in, and your melon goes straight in after. Our old faithful, a good squeeze of honey, that final squeeze of lime, and a splash of our coconut water. Give it a waz. And then you guessed it, we're gonna pour that straight into our molds. Get our lids on, get that into the freezer with our other ones overnight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Doesn't that look nice? Now morning time is here. These have had at least 12 hours in the freezer. Once these have come out of the freezer, you really wanna rinse them under the tap, a hot tap for about five seconds, and that will just allow you to pull your beautiful, frozen, fresh, fragrant lollipops. The red one, the green one, and the orange one. 
all beautifully flavored, properly healthy with fresh, real fruits that you've made at home. Now the strawberry and the orange, absolutely delicious, little taints of red, and it smells fantastic. The fragrance of the strawberry, the fragrance of the orange, the kiwi, the melon, the berry blast, whatever one you decide to make, or even if you make all three. These can stay in the freezer for up to three months and are absolutely banging at a barbecue get together to keep the kids quiet. They're my amazingly fresh and healthy lollipops for kids. Ah, thank you.